Hello, this is Transformers Fan G138, and I'm here to welcome you to my new YouTube show, G138's Lego Mocks, or MOCs, aka my own creations. And these are all Legos. Um, well, and each one I'll be doing like one or two. This one is a larger one, so I'm only doing one. Um, this is pretty cool. Um, if you don't like the multicolored thing, sorry, uh, I don't have a lot of one particular color, especially of certain pieces. So, um, yeah, I'm I'm slowly trying to work my way through and changing all my uh, things to one color. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any orange bricks or red ones for these panels. Anyway, um, so I'll just discuss what this is. It's my... It's a Lego transforming robot. Simple as that. And the design is kind of based off Optimus Prime. Kind of a futuristic Optimus Prime you know, kind of thing. It's kind of cool. Um, yeah, um, basically, I disassembled a Lego Exoforce t um, four treaded tank and used the pieces to kind of be the basis for, um, this guy. And again, he's, um, inspired by Optimus Prime. Not really made to be Optimus Prime. Uh, anyway, he is a tractor trailer. Rotates here. It's kind of cool. Doesn't turn particularly sharp. These get in the way. Yeah, you know, it's cool. It's nice. Um, the trailer is based on a you know, Lego trailer with, uh, two sets of wheels in the back. Now he's got a nice translucent piece here. He's got a ton of storage in the back if you want to put Lego figures or other other smaller vehicles in there. You can. Well, I can. It's mine. It's pretty neat. Um, so, this is the um, main truck cab thing. Now it does have an opening cockpit with room for a Lego figure. It doesn't actually clip down. I have a flat piece in there so the Lego guys can just sit in there and, you know, whatever. Um, also notice I did put a Autobot logo inside here, sticker, as well as on top of the tank, or tank, uh, trailer. Thank you. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. The trailer itself has a very Optimus Prime-like feature to it. This panel folds down, becomes a ramp, and this little kind of mini roller type thing comes out. Not enough room to sit actual Lego figures in it, but uh, they can stand on it. It's something, right? Fit two of them. Anyway, yeah. I had a lot of fun building these. I actually took all my creations and made a whole story universe for them. Some of these things are years and years old. I have done modifications to them as time progresses. It's kind of cool. Like um, before, this roller didn't exist, and this you know door didn't exist. So, and this trailer went all the way through. But I found it was pretty much useless space, so I went through and did this, and it turned out pretty cool. I like it. Um, yep. Yeah, I also don't know why I added this because it's not really good storage. There's not much space in there, but it opens. I think it's more or less just to hide these so I know where they are. It's pretty neat. So that's pretty much all features that. Now this thing. Bottom side, it's pretty simple. Um, yeah, it's got some blue translucent pieces and whatnot. You know, these smokestacks, you know, can rotate forward for guns, I guess. Um, yeah, whatever. An exhaust pipe there. Don't know why there's one here if there is there. Mm. Whatever. So, pull this up, and you pull this out. This is the only part that you have to remove for transformation, I swear. I really, really swear. And it's because it's his weapon, not because it's some devastating piece. The uh, legs fold down. I gotta say, this is my first real attempt at making a transforming robot out of Legos. So it's 
doesn't have necessarily all the posability of some of my other ones, but yeah. So these fold out and down. And you know, it's not obviously the best looking thing ever, but it's pretty cool. And if you see pieces like hanging off like here and stuff there and like here, there's reasons for that. And when I uh, get onto my, I don't know, third episode of this, I think, I will um, show you why. Pretty cool. Um, so yeah. So yeah, he's this. It's pretty neat. Uh, you know, it's cool, cool. You know, his head isn't, you know really anything special, it's just one of the circular bricks. And he kind of looks a little fat, but... Meh. It's kind of cool. Transforms into a truck. His arms pretty much have good posability. Also, um, this doesn't work particularly well just because of these, but I found out if you put a piece in here, and you have a another kind of Lego piece back there. You push it, you can actually turn it into a kind of like a missile launcher. This one again doesn't work particularly well, just because of the location it is. Yeah, where did it go? Ah, here it is. But uh, it does kind of work. Um, I'll show you some of my um, on uh, another one. I really got them to work pretty good. So, again, this is not Optimus Prime. It is Optimus Prime inspired. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, it's neat. Like, I really actually kind of enjoy building Legos. Occasionally, I'll just dig them out and start building something. I have literally a whole, a whole area full of them here. Um, unfortunately, not at home. I... That's pretty much my Transformers Kingdom. But, uh, yeah. That's pretty much my mock of this guy. This thing. Yeah, he's got. I also in the trailer installed ports so you can clip things to it if I wanted to. Yeah. It's kind of neat. Well, that being said, and that being done, my first episode of G138's. Lego mocks. Thanks for watching. Please tell me what you think of this guy down below. I'd love to hear some constructive criticism. If you're just going to tell me it's ugly and it looks like something threw up colors on my trailer, deal with it. I'm slow again. I'm slowly replacing it. I'm buying bricks every time I go to a Lego store. It's taking me a lot longer than whatnot than not to do all of them because they are quite expensive. So, again, thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Um, if you like this or didn't like this, um, I'll have more Transforming Robots. Actually, a little bit better than this one, I think. And I will be having non-Transforming ones as well. Uh, I have a ton. So... Yeah, this is going to be a kind of a weekly thing. I'll do like one a week about. I mean, there might be one or two weeks I'll skip. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. That's pretty much all the features of this guy. I'm probably boring you by repeating myself this many times. So I'm going to call it quits. Thanks for watching. Again, if you have any constructive criticism, comments, questions, down below. And I will get back to you and say thanks or... Let you know how it turns out. See ya.